Hello everyone, I'm Seneca Games. We are here to share some laughs and relieve a little stress today playing Animal Crossing New Horizon. If you have enjoyed some of my videos, go ahead and hit the like button below. It really helps me see that you guys are having a good time and that you want to see more videos like this one. And with that said, let's jump right in and get started. Alright you guys, today's episode we are going to go check out a Harry Potter Dream Island, but not only that, I have my future sister-in-law here with me. She is a die-hard Harry Potter fan, so she's going to help us walk through this, yeah, <laughs> Araya, obviously, I don't, she's been on the channel before, so let's dream. What's the dream address? Bam, bam, bam. Holy buckets. <laughs> I told you. That's an intense island looking there. Do you know how my favorite part of Dream Islands is the way you wake up? Like you <laughs> You wake up all like <laughs> not perfectly. <That's> so true. <laughs> Oh, look at me in my explorer outfit and everything! <laughs> We're off to explore, you guys! Wow. Yeah. Okay, deep slumber, we get it, Luna, we get it. <laughs> Nobody cares. Alright. Let's go! Okay, so first we gotta go to the board. Because there's a few wolves. Oh, the rules. Go to Hogwarts Express platform 934th Airport to pick up an outfit and wand to complete the magical world. It's also platform 9 and 3 quarters. Oh. <laughs> Not just 9 and 3 fourths. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Feel free to go anywhere you want. There is a Triwizard Tournament. In the middle. <laughs> the tools are wrapped for you to use. Good luck. If you cannot get across the maze, it is not a glitch. There is a trick to it. Keep trying. You can do it. Oh, God. Yeah, it gets intense. So, this is the Ministry of Magic. So, if you ever, like, look it up, um, it's got a huge fountain in the middle that actually have muggles getting crushed, but obviously you can't do that. Yeah. In this. <laughs> you can't then, crush a muggle these green things down here are the flu powder which is how they travel in and out of the ministry oh, yeah. and then same with the telephone boots and they just change oh. the color which I didn't even know you could do I thought they were just red and blue those are the only ones I've ever seen in Animal Crossing oh I have a green one on my island but <laughs> but now um, we're actually on the on the train and they used camp whatever like <laughs> the, the <pizza> stones <laughs> to make it look like a train yeah i thought it was like super cool that is so cool and then all these presents so like this one when you open it you would expect a wand but it's actually like a harry potter wand whoa and i have no idea how they did it and then all these are just outfits so like, that's cool. Can you wear them? Yeah. Like, are you supposed to like grab one? You're of them? supposed. Is that to. one of the? Is that what they told us to do? Yeah. Okay. So like, it just is a magic. Oh, all look good. at it! I can like, actually. The only thing that sucks is it. It doesn't come with you. Yeah. But like, it's a dream island. Oh my gosh! Look at how cute I am. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool. And so now you're a witch. Oh. And like they use those toy boxes uh -huh. to make it like the train body. That. So we're technically on platform nine and three quarters. Okay. And then like they added what, some like. What are, what are the potties toys. for? I don't know. Just to go potty. Yeah. Okay. And like these are supposed to be like um, somebody goes around and like gives, not gives out, but uh, you can buy treats on your way to Hogwarts. Oh. And then like. Down here, they just made it normal, kind of, because they didn't really do anything in the beach. Yeah. But then when you go on this side, 
you're actually on the train. So like, there's a turtle, because apparently you can bring turtles to Hogwarts, which isn't true. <laughs> but like, all oh, this puppy stuff. too. <laughs> and then you keep going this way. Hop over. And this is Privet Drive, which is like where he lives with his aunt and uncle. And so they all look like normal places. Houses. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, and he has like eight what? people living on this island. Like, look at all the pink houses on this oh island. Oh my gosh. So I think he just made a bunch of different um, accounts accounts just to put them on this island and That's make it. crazy. So they're just all normal. I think you can keep going this way. Yeah. And then you go this way. And. He's still got those hybrid flowers, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Hagrid's hut, which is, like, the half-giant oh, that yeah. they meet at Hogwarts. And, like, this is his pumpkin patch. I, don't, I have no idea what these are. Like, I can't, like, even, like, pick them up or anything. This they're is hats. They are. are they really? Yes, they're custom-designed hats on a mannequin. Oh, my around. God, that's so <laughs> cool. And then when you go behind his hut, it's, like, the forest. And he owns a dog. So they put a dog Aww. thing. And then you just keep coming back here and you see these little things that he made yeah. on the ground. Those yep. are supposed to represent spiders. And then he has like a scorpion back here. Oh, I got stung by a scorpion today. <laughs> Yesterday, actually. And then like this, dumb. this blue thing is supposed to represent the car. And in the second one, the car goes into the forest and you never see it again. And that's Aww. what it's representing. And then when you come back here, Hagrid owns a... Ranch, ranch, like a huge one. A huge one. Like huge, and that's what that's supposed to represent. <laughs> that's not a very big tarantula. Well, no. <laughs> Animal Crossing then, doesn't make a huge tarantula. <laughs> and then you just put random flowers throughout the entire thing. But then that pumpkin um, patch is cool. This is my favorite part of the entire thing. This is the Quidditch. Whoa. Like you've That's, seen the is movies, that the right? game? Yeah, the yes, game that okay. they play. So like I have seen the movies, kind of. That's so cool. And if you listen carefully, he has speakers going and he has different music in certain spaces. So in this space it's a different music. And all he did was make things, put brooms on the ground and then yeah. put a mannequin on. And he was very creative because there's um hoops that you have to throw through mm -hmm. and he used the nets yeah that's a super good idea and then these are just um he put up the thing put the stalls in like people and then he put those walls that you can put it's, it's like stands yeah there's people on the stands this is like my favorite part <laughs> i still don't have that diy for those fake walls that you can customize and i want it <laughs> but, but yeah uh, like you can see the that thing right there yeah. is a speaker, and he just put certain music to it. I was like, um, what? And then he just added more forest to keep his rocks. <laughs> and that way it's like his portrait yeah. thing. And then you come up here, and this is actually like Hogwarts. Cool. So like they have armor, mm -hmm. which is protecting Hogwarts like from the seventh one. And then, like, the Hogwarts crest. And I mean, I guess this is his house. Yeah. And he just, I don't that's know where he got that crest what? from, but. That's so cool. Yeah. So this person has a lot of time on their hands. And Maybe then, not. Maybe they're just super creative. This is just to give off the grounds. Like, these are students learning how to fly. Right. And then when you go this way, can you pick this one? Oh, look, they're a five-star island. <laughs> yeah, they're a five-star island. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> And I give you a ladder. Oh. I had trouble trying to figure out how to get down here. Because <laughs> I didn't see the present. Then you just walk over here. The guy used the ladder. Whoa. And here's Dumbledore's office. So the headmaster's office. Which the terraforming cool. that has like had to go into this is insane. And like, um the moon is he's freaking cool. Right above the astronomy tower. So or below it. So like when you go up the stairs, it goes straight to... What's the point of the fencing right there? <laughs> Behind the desk. Like, on I the bottom. <laughs> that's I don't funny. Know. <laughs> but, like, and that's, like, Dumbledore's thing, uh, outfit, and this is supposed to represent his, um, 
his bird that he owns. And there's actually a memory thing, and that's what they're using this birdhouse to represent. Like, you put in a memory, and you can, like, see the memory. Oh! I don't know what the golden one is. I saw it. <laughs> and then this is herbology, which is, like, oh. plants and stuff. I only have the pink one of those. How do you get those? Come on, man. This person worked for it. Hook a girl <laughs> up. You can also buy yeah. them. I know that. So yeah. Yeah. So I right. I think I have the red ones actually. He has a few classrooms. And then here's potion. So he just bought a bunch of those experiments. I have a scientist experiment set and I just didn't know what to do. And then there. a skeleton. This and a chalkboard. Is, look at this. And Severus name. And then he this just put wild. up a bunch of bookshelves. How does he have enough room in his custom designs for all of this? I have no idea. Because I have found out. <laughs> and then the last classroom is this This is deviation, which is like um fortune telling type oh, class. Okay. And but tea sets? <laughs> um, they have it's really hard to explain. So in like the third movie they have teacups and at the bottom are these black specks and it's supposed to tell your future. Oh, and that's what those represent. Okay. You have to like watch the movie and actually pay attention. <laughs> and I have so much it has to load. Yeah. Crazy. I thought it was just my switch. Apparently it's just because there's so much. Because mine was glitching. Yeah. And then you have to go back. So we have to climb back up. But like, yeah, you just... The terraforming that went into this is uh -huh. Like, I can't keep track of my own terraforming. <laughs> like, this is just a lot. Hello, friend. Yeah, I have no... Do you think that he made that many accounts so he could have, like, each character? Like, maybe. dress them up as each character, maybe? Maybe. Because when me and my, my brother was watching me do this, and there's one that's dressed up, and it kind of looks like his uncle. And I was like, oh, I don't think so. I think that was just a coincidence. And then we found out he had a bunch of things out there. They even they have this little set for Hagrid type thing. And then when you go this way, Closer. this Closer. is the interactive part. So this is the Triwizard Tournament. Okay. So this is from the fourth book. So if you come up here, there's like half and stuff. And then like the seating to watch this. So the first tournament had to do with dragons and they had to get eggs from a dragon. That flower book is beautiful. Yes, Can I is. just point that <laughs> <Take> out? Take it. <laughs> yeah, I want to take that home with me. Back to Rafiki we go. There's a present there. Oh, there. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so then, he has a lot of stools, and it kind of bugs me. But then you come in here, and you're supposed to dig up the holes. Yeah. You get some shovel. But, like, this is the first tournament. So, in the fourth one, we got a, a, tournament. a tournament, and you just had to get an egg from a dragon. That's why each dragon, if you look, is different colors. Oh. So there's a red one, a blue one, a brown one, and a black one. That's not actually the color right. that we're in it. But it just is what Animal Crossing gives you. Allows you to have. <laughs> and then he must just keep his rocks over there. But they give you three presents, and I believe this other one's a fossil. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second part of the tournament, they went underwater. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know where he got this thing from, but I want one. What is it? Like it's just it's just it's like, like when you catch a game or something and you can show it off. Oh. So this is the maze that they're talking about. Kind of. Oh, that is like this you has don't a little know. trick to it, yeah. But so the second part or the second thing he had to do was actually and this is the tough part because you have to hit it at a certain angle. Oh my 
gas. Come on. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> is that just a um, shell? Or is that a mermaid? Like arch over? Is it the which one? one? The purple oh, one? I guess no, the one right in front of us. The shell. I, they're all like different colors. So you must have done the custom. All oh, night. <laughs> There we oh, go. Oh, got it. I think I do it again. Got it. Oh, I got the right spot. Okay. Oh. So here we gotta really pay attention. Because. Whoa. Yeah. So he has these seeds that you can plant, and then whoever walks over them Bully. will go down. And I was like, that's ah. dumb. <laughs> oh. And then I got bit by oh. mosquitoes. Our mosquitoes. <laughs> We have to go this way and get the present. This is the interrupt. It might actually be a present. On the other side. Yeah, like in that little divot thing. I don't oh. remember. Oh, that was it. No. Fast. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so then the third task. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's like five of them. But the third task, they have to get through a maze to get to a cup. And that's how they win the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're doing right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Their section. So there's the cup up there. I was going to say, it looks like we're getting there. So we're almost at the end. Oh. Yeah, you ain't taking me this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. And then look at all those weeds over there. <laughs> That's a graveyard. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't understand why weeds, but right. Like, there's nothing, you can't do anything with the star fragments or the gold rose or <laughs> that cherry blossom. Cherry blossoms. There oh, it is. Oh, we got an axe. Chop, 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 homie. Oh, look, wood. And like, now if you listen again. There's music, yeah. Different music. And this part is like, in the fourth movie, they recreate Voldemort. Oh, okay. And this is what this represents. And that happens after he touches the cup because the cup is a port key which transports you somewhere else. So that's what this scene is. And it happens in a graveyard. So that's what this is. Yeah, it's cool. And then up here is, we believe, is Cedric Diggory. He died. So that's oh, his graveyard. Okay. And then Dumbledore dies in the sixth one. Oh. And then... Down here, this is the size of the mall. Dobby, which is a house elf, dies. And this is his, and he was buried on a beach. And then, like, house elves to be freed, they get sacks. So that's what the sacks represent. Oh, okay. I think that's it, yeah. So now we have to go. Here's the fun part we have to do that all over again. Oh. But now we have all the tools and no pitfall. Yeah. So this is the part that just takes a little bit. Come on. Wow, look at that leg. I want to know how many hours are on his animal project. Because, oh. like, mine is, like, 225 at the moment. I don't even know what mine's at. It's at too many. Though. And that's not even doing this. Like, he literally can't do any more to his island. No. No. Nope. Put it out there for dreamers to see. Yep. That's so cool, though. And the coolest thing is because it's a dream island, all the stuff we picked up goes right back to where it was. Yep. We don't take anything home with us. Now we go this way, and this is the burrow, which is the Weasley's home. And he didn't do much with it, but like a bunch of flowers. It looks like a really old home. Mm -hmm. It just. Looks oh, how it's supposed to. Oh, oops. And then we go up this way. Oh, the 
money trees. And this is Gringotts Bank. Oh. And that's mm-hmm. what the money trees represent. And then just the museum, because you have to have a museum. Right. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere. Yeah, where's the... The campground they put on the beach. Um, and campground. We're getting that point. And then... Mm-hmm. This is Azkaban, mm-hmm. which is their prison. Oh. So, like... Oh, that's interesting. I think I no. But, um... So they just use the jail bars, put some stuff, and then it looks like that's a silo. Yeah, I think which that's is a kind, silo. Which is kind of what it looks like. But, um... They come down here, and this is Diagon Alley, which is where Nook's Cranny is, and they use that as, like, the rope shop. Oh! And the book shop. Or the book... The book shop. Not the rope shop. Yeah. And then next to it is Able Sisters, which they put a bunch of robes in front of and make it a robe shop. Yeah, that's cool. And I bet, since we can't go in, I bet on that back wall with the customized, they probably have the robes up there. Too. Yeah, probably. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then, so they just have a bunch of houses and, like, wanted flyers. And this must be where all his houses go. And he still has ten villagers. Yeah, he, there's a lot of people like, on his map. No. <laughs> you have no room for anything and else. Then literally, that's the entire island. Oh my gosh. So it's intense. Yeah, it's huge and it, it it's just cool. Can you go back in the world, but then you wake up in your own clothes? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Darn it. But yeah, so he is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 people on his island. Oh my gosh. And you know what? There's actually like, they have like no yards really, but like there's still a lot of space for other things yeah. than just houses. That's what happens when you just want to make a Harry Potter island, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. The whole thing, and then you got just some areas of they end up making, right? But yeah, all right. Well, thank you, Araya, for walking me through that because I don't know Harry <laughs> Potter like you do. <laughs> but this island was super cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more like this one. Hit the like button and subscribe below if you haven't already. It's super helpful and shows me that you had a great time watching the video. Stay tuned for the next video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!